Topic number two, we're going to stick with WWE, but we're going to go to the game side of things. Uh, we're going to be talking about WWE 2K22. Um, as of recording, they had released a trailer, finally, uh, last week. And uh, I'm not going to lie, a little bit of a mixed bag, but it might have been saved by a late recording. Hearing a lot of the gameplay features thanks to an interview with the devs and at the SmackDown Hotel on Twitter for kind of summarizing it. I am way more excited. So, what's going on this year with 2K22, you may ask? Well, it's coming out in March, March 11th, all right? Rey Mysterio is your cover superstar, looking all fly with some blues and some orange. And uh, it is coming to both previous gen, no, current gen, next gen. It's coming to both. Um, and it's going to have a lot of interesting features along with it. If you do pre-order, you can get the Undertaker Immortal Pack, which includes the current day or the late last we have seen the badass, uh, Jesus Christ, badass American, American badass Undertaker. Woo, that was a thing. Uh, the... Undertaker from the Ministry of Darkness, and then also Undertaker with that white face mask when he broke his nose that one time. <laughs> so if you pre-order, you can get that, or you can also get the uh, like deluxe edition, which comes with the NWA NWA NWO pack, um, which will essentially be a DLC later on, just based on history, which will include Hulk Hogan, Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, Six, and Eric Bischoff all playable so roster so far we got edge this is non-pre-order guys edge mysterio really that's it no i'm just kidding <laughs> okay on their 2k roster page that's all they have but i think confirmed if i'm looking at the smackdown hotel i'm gonna be using them a lot for references here uh, I don't want the current roster. I want you to tell me the WWE 2K roster. That is what I'm looking for. Da, 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 da. Gonna do some scrolling. Scrolling. Um, but yeah, based on the trailer, <clears throat> I was a little nervous. Some character models look fantastic. Look really good much improved from 2k20 which uh <laughs> we know all how that went um and some models don't look great i'm not sure if this was a uh current gen xbox one ps4 and an xbox series x ps5 like combination trailer where they showed footage from both generations if that's the case i understand it a little bit better but some of those models, yeah, did not look great. The gameplay mechanics, though, that we're going to talk about in a little bit have kind of spurred my attention back in interest. So, as of right now, these are the roster characters confirmed. AJ Styles, Alexa Bliss, Angelo Dawkins, Apollo Crews, Asuka, Austin Theory, Bailey, Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, Big E, Bobby Lashley, Booker T, Brock Lesnar, Carmella Cesaro, Chad Gable, Dana Brooke, Dolph Ziggler, Dominic Mysterio, Drew McIntyre, Eddie Guerrero, Edge, Eric, Finn Balor, Goldberg, Hulk Hogan, Ivar, Jeff Hardy, Joe, Joe Kin Wild. Wow, I said that wrong. Cena, Kane, Kaylee Ray, Kevin Nash, Kevin Owens, Kofi Kingston, Montez Ford, Mustafa Ali, MVP, Naomi, Randy Orton, Randy Savage, Raquel Gonzalez, Rey Mysterio, uh, if you get the Starcade thing, you get Rey Mysterio 96, Rhea Ripley, Ric Flair, Ricochet, Riddle, Robert Roode, Roman Reigns, Samoa Joe, RIP, Sasha Banks, Scott Hall, Seth Rollins, Shawn Michaels, Shayna Baszler, uh, Seamus Shelton, Benjamin, Shis Shinsuke Nakamura, Shotzi, Blackheart, Sonya Deville, Steve Austin, Six, uh, Tamina, The Miz, The Rock, Triple H, Tyler Bay, Ultimate Warrior, Undertaker, and Xavier Woods. Pre-orders I mentioned are the three extra Undertakers, and then if you do the NWO version, you get those NWO, NWO versions of those characters along with Bischoff. Whoo! Okay, so right now that has us sitting at 79. 
Um, as for all of our releases over this past year, we don't have much sign of them here. A couple standouts. Jeff Hardy, Samoa Joe, and I think there was one more, but I may be wrong. I am wrong. Okay, those are the two standouts because they're gone. Will there be more from the WWE releases of this past year? I hope so because I want to play those characters. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how this works out. Um, some obvious omissions. Um, we have Joe Ken Wild. Um, he is part of Legado del Fantasma. So I assume we got to have... Um, oh boy, it's been a little while. Pa no. <laughs> Escobar, we gotta probably have Escobar in there along with Rahul Mendoza, just because those three are a team. And then also we are missing the other half of Mustache Mountain in uh, Tyler Bates' partner, who I'm blanking on as well. But yeah, so some tag teams without their tag team partners. So we see that. So is that the full roster? No just what has been revealed so far according to SmackDown Hotel and the press conference. So gameplay mechanics that are being added this year or returning this year that have gotten me excited about the game. Number one is GM mode is back. Trent Seven, thank you. Trent, Trent Seven, yes, thank you very much. Uh, GM mode is back. Woo! All right, we can finally play GM mode again. You can pick four GMs. You can pick Pierce, DeVille, Shane McMahon, Stephanie McMahon. The coolest thing, <laughs> if I'm going to quote Drake and Josh, you can play co-op locally and online. Oh, yeah. All right. So GM mode, a heavily requested mode, finally back, making its return from SmackDown versus Raw 2008. Holy shit. It's been a while. It's back. I'm excited. I really liked AEW's GM mode on mobile. Unfortunately, it sucks my battery's phone, so that kind of stinks. <laughs> Very excited to dive into this mode. Hopefully it's just like years past, obviously with some tweaks, some additions, etc., etc., and we can have some fun with that. Very excited. So GM mode is back in the picture. Other things that have been added. There is a my, never mind. Nope, that's my GM mode still. There's still universe mode. Universe mode I know is a lot of people's jam, creating the cards, creating the storylines, etc. Something cool that they added this year is something called superstar mode to that, where you can pick a superstar and essentially play like a campaign with that character. So for example, I pick AJ Styles. I'm only going to play AJ Styles matches and storylines. Everything else is kind of just there or I don't even see it. So it's kind of just like an individual superstar campaign that if you want to dive into you're good to go. So, cool for that. Um, they have added a little bit more of an arcade style to things. Uh, they were limiting reversals on previous uh, editions of the game where you would only have a certain amount of reversals that you could use and then it would have to recharge. That's gone. You can do unlimited reversals just like the good old days. Good old days. <laughs> just like back in the day. So reversal upon reversal, as long as you can get the timing down, you're good to go. The pin and kick out system has been updated. It's more back to a button mashing system. I know that can be a little frustrating because obviously it's just mashing the button and not knowing your results. But I do think this is a step in the right direction because you feel like you're doing something. And then that bar mechanic they had in other years, while I get the, log the logic behind it, kind of frustrating to figure out that timing and especially when like it's a pick up and play like hey let's play with some friends and it's hard to explain that mechanic or also have people 
execute it well enough just being thrown into it. I know even for me, I always sucked at that timing of that bar. But mashing, everybody gets mashing, and at least you feel like you're doing something. So that is back as well. Um, you can still upload and use custom render images for Create a Superstar. Um, so that's nice. Um, let's see. Ooh, let's see. Na, 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 na. We already know about that. I already talked about Superstar mode. Uh, new mode coming in <clears throat> to the 2K22 is something called My Faction Mode. Players will be in control of building a faction that rivals the NWO. Players will connect, man, collect, 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 manage, and upgrade superstars with weekly events and regular updates. So this looks essentially like a card type based game within the game. Um, so the examples that they use here, they have five cards laid out, Asuka, Roman Reigns, Bobby Lashley, Sasha Banks, which are all gold cards. And then they have a silver card, which is a manager and Paul Heyman. So this must be some kind of deck building esque type game. I don't know too much details about it, but I'm interested to try it out and see how it plays. Um, we talked about the, or they talked about the main story for the showcase mode is going to be Mysterio, so you'll follow some key matches in his, in, yeah, in his history, replay through those, and they have uh, revealed that Dominic Mysterio is one of the unlockable characters through that gameplay. Uh, they showed off a little bit of Create a Superstar. Looks the way we kind of suppose it would, but the big thing is cross-platform creation so if you make something on xbox people who play on playstation can have access to it as well as pc so that's cool just kind of opens up this wide array of obviously the creation suite there are people who go very insane with their character models making people from aw nwa impact new japan you had those people you have people who make alternate attires um it's going to be crazy to see the amount of creativity people come up with this year and uh Obviously, you can download things from that suite, and everybody will have access to everybody's creations from there. Um, but I think that pretty much covers what they had shared. Once again, shout out to the SmackDown Hotel on Twitter for kind of summarizing what had happened in that press conference. Um, yeah, I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited for this game. Um, I know 20, a lot of people had issues with. I personally never ran into any bugs. Uh, luckily, but these games have kind of lost some steam in like their replayability and fun factor. And um, hopefully, this is another. Whoops. Hopefully, this is a right a step in the right direction. GM mode coming back is fantastic. Like I said, that hasn't been in a game since 2008, so over 10 years this mode has not been in. Uh, I'm excited to jump back into that. I know Papa Griff and I played it all the time whether it was against each other or against the computer, and it was always hard as fucking shit against the computer. So hopefully it's not that bad, but excited to jump into that, the card creator mode or card collection mode. I'm excited to see how that plays out, if it's intriguing. You know, these are the different modes in what I can do and how I can play makes it more interesting than, okay, just go in there, throw some punches, pin one, two, three, yada yada you know once again obviously it's fun if you can do this as a pickup game but if it's too much of the simulation route and too complex it kind of takes away from the fun factor i understand why you would want something like that but a nice balance is good you don't want it so arcadey that it's uh what the fuck was that game called 2k crawlers or whatever that we had played this previous year where it was fun but it wasn't it didn't have the substance behind it um so you want the fun aspect and the arcadiness of something like that or even better a wwe all-stars while also having <clears throat> you know the realism from the simulation of you know previous 2ks 
Um, so let's hope that 2K, with taking the year off, has just, like learned from their mistakes, put in the passion behind it, found people who care to put in that time, and uh, hopefully this goes off without a hit and we can get back to some good wrestling games. Uh, and if not, we'll wait for the AEW game whenever that's fucking coming out. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's going to wrap up this week's episode of the Wait What Podcast. My name is Brett, a.k.a. Enigma9011, and you can catch this podcast live over on twitch.tv slash Enigma9011 every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can join in the chat if you're a subscriber over there. We'd love to have you in on the conversation. If you can't catch live, that's A-OK. Drop topic by topic and put as one big video in MP3 for your amusement on the following Friday on YouTube and podcast services. Last but not least, hashtag ad merch store and get all your swag over there, t-shirts, cups, backpacks, and more. Rep the brand. Support us. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for hanging out today. Listen to the Rumble Talk. Listen to the 2K Talk. Hopefully you guys had a good time. If you enjoy the Rumble, or sorry, if you're watching the Rumble, I hope you guys enjoy yourself. But if not, hope you guys have a good one regardless. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.